In this example, we're going to be solving the equation cosec 2 theta equals 4 in the region 0 to 360 degrees. First of all, we start by taking the reciprocal of both sides here to get sine 2 theta equals 1 quarter. Next, we're going to get the principal solutions for 2 theta by doing inverse sine of 1 quarter. And if we do that, we get 2 theta equals 14.4. Now that's not the exact value, so we should be storing that value in our calculator at the moment so that we can use it later. To get a second solution, we can use the symmetry property and do 180 minus the first solution, and that gives us 165.5. We can then get further solutions by adding multiples of 360 onto these two. But before we do that, we might want to consider how many solutions we expect to see. If we were solving an equation that said sine theta equals something, we would generally expect to see two solutions between 0 and 360. But because the graph has been stretched here by scale factor 1 half, it's like it's squashed together, we would then expect to see four solutions for sine 2 theta equals something. So we'd expect to see two more solutions on top of these two. So first of all, we'll start with the 14.4, add on 360, and that's going to give us 374.4. Then we'll take the 165.5 degrees, we'll add 360 onto that, and that's going to give us 525.5. Finally, we'll take all four of these solutions and then divide them by two to get values for theta. If we do that, we get 7.24 degrees, 82.8, 187, and 263, each one of those given to three significant figures. Okay, before we move on to the next question, I just want to take a minute to show you how you can use a graphical calculator to get the solutions to these equations in an efficient way. So first of all, I'm going to do inverse sine of one quarter and store that value on my calculator. So with the principal solution as the last thing I've calculated, I can press this arrow and then go alpha A, and that will store that value as the letter A on my calculator. Now I'm going to find the second solution here by doing 180. I can do either minus answer or minus A. I'll just do minus answer here. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to store this value as B. Now that I've got those values stored, rather than finding the next two solutions and then dividing all of them by two separately, I can use a list to do it all in one go. So you're looking for a curly bracket to start off with. On this calculator, it's above the multiplication key. So I need to press shift and then the multiplication key. It opens a curly bracket. I'm going to put A in first. Then I'm going to use a comma. And then I'm going to put B in. And then another comma. And then I'm going to do A plus 360. And then another comma. And then I'm going to do B plus 360. Finally, I'm going to close off the bracket here using the divide button key, shift divide. And then I can press equals. Now that I've calculated my list, all I have to do is press divide by 2. And then I get my four solutions out here, which I can go up into and go across and see what the values are to write them down. I may also want to go up to the list above and write down the values for 2 theta as that will be worth method marks in the exam. One last thing in case you make an issue, I'm just going to delete this line again. Um, let's say I was at this point, um, if I'd already gone back up into this list and then I tried to do divide by 2, you can see it's lost that list answer bit. You can put that in manually if you've, if you've gone out of where you need to be by just pressing shift, list, and then answer, like that. And then I can divide that by two. Again, I get my solutions out. So just to recap of what we've just done, find the first two solutions, store them as A and B, pop them into a list. If you need more solutions, you can add multiples of 360 or whatever you need to add on. Press equals, and then do whatever you need to do to the whole list in one go. So in this case, I've divided it by two. Okay, I'm now going to put another problem on the screen, similar to this one, so that you can have a go at one for yourself. 
At this stage, I'd recommend you pause the video, have a go at it, and then come back and check your solution against mine afterwards. Welcome back. Hope you've had a go at this one first. We're solving cosec 2 theta equals 1.6 in the region 0 to 2 pi. First of all, we're going to take the reciprocal of both sides. 1.6 as a fraction is 8 fifths. So when we do the reciprocal, we can write that as sine 2 theta equals 5 over 8. Next, we're going to do inverse sine of 5 8 to get a principal solution for 2 theta. And if we do that, we get 2 theta equals 0.67. To get a second solution in sine in radians this time, we're going to do pi minus our first solution. If we do pi minus 0.67, we get roughly 2.46. From here, again the same as last time, we're solving an equation involving sine 2 theta. This time the region is 0 to 2 pi, but again we would expect four solutions. So we're going to take the first one and add multiple of 2 pi to that. That will give us 6.95. And then we're going to take the second solution, the 2.46, add a multiple of 2 pi to that. That's going to give us 8.74. Finally, we're going to take all of these solutions here and divide them all by 2. And we're going to get 0 0.34, 1.2, 3.5, 4 and 4.4. Each of these is two, two significant figures. 